Hey guys, Infidel1258 here. Today we're going to do some rank grind. I haven't done this in a while, so let's get into it. If you're new to my channel, my name is Dwayne Cunningham and I go by Infidel1258 and on the channel we cover Splinterlands, as well as I guess other blockchain games too now, but uh, mostly Splinterlands. If you're into that, stick around, stay tuned and let's uh, let's do this. And I guess while I'm explaining stuff, I like to do these, I like to do the rank battles with an kind of un like a random test of what's out there. Like when I just turn on the battle mode, I don't know what I'm going to get. I don't know who I'm going to face. I don't know what rule set or even, you know, mana cap or splinters will be available. All of those variables provoke an interesting kind of thought process. And then hopefully if you're new to the, the this space, or even if you've been here for a while, you can kind of maybe learn from either the observations or the mistakes that I'm making so you can be better at your rank, your rank grind. Melee, melee from any position, odds only, archery, archery reflex. So in this context, one thing I think immediately is magic would be nice, right? Because they're gonna, they, they, my opponent might expect melee. Archery is going to have a reflection damage, um, but odds is gonna limit the number of magic monsters I have access to. Mind you, it's a lower mana cap. I don't have my blue splinter to work with. But I do have Archmage Arius. It's potentially interesting. Five mana versus like a three though. You know, maybe we go, I could go Malric and lean into the melee and that might be adequate too. Hmm. You know what I think I'm gonna try? Where is he? Drake of Arnak for the plus one armor. And then I'm going to go fire. And I'm going to lean. I'm going to do Serpentine Soldier because it has Thorns damage if my if, and a shield and dodge and good speed. So it's a good main tank for this context where the melee can come from any place. If he does magic, I'm done. It's, it's a lose. It's a lose situation. But see, what I want to do is I want to bring the Exploding Dwarf. And I want to bring. Oh, yeah, I can't bring. I wanted to bring the rat Exploding Rats also. So this might change how I feel about this. Because the, what I wanted to do is bring my big blast monsters with huge speed and an armor on them. So even if they run into thorns, they will survive. I want to, I'd have to bring that for like an amp. Oh, you know what? We go like this. We get a thorns up there with an amp. The serpent doesn't necessarily die right away. We bring some speed, speed and repair. We bring... Tempted to bring the speed and repair with the camo, and then we go, oh yeah, 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 yeah. This is worth a shot. So, magic and I lose. No magic. Sneak attack's uh, dangerous for me, but I'm... I'd love to see, what I'd love to see is, I attack the Lord of Darkness, he retaliates and hits me, I retaliate and hit him. That would be a, an absolute monster sort of swing. Retaliate? Retaliate? Does he hit? No, the miss is annoying, actually. Okay, nice. And retaliate, huge. Oh, he got to retaliate too. I'm still feeling okay about this, though. Yeah, we. I think this is a win. Thorn damage is very powerful, obviously, when there's melee mayhem. The question really was, would my opponent go lean into the melee or lean into the magic? And sometimes it's just a guessing game. <laughs> Look at this. One one chest. Oh, I should have waited. That's okay. Now we'll have a tomorrow at 9, 13 a.m. We'll have a new focus. Okay, so let's carry on. <clears throat> no armor okay fog of war archer reflect so magic could be really helpful because well melee could be helpful there's no armor to worry about 
I don't want to lean into archery. I think I want to put out as much damage as I can with as low a mana cost. Hmm. I like the speed manipulation on the quicks in this context. Plus the four cost. Potentially tempted to do a Scargore. Let's see, let's see what could we do with that. We bring out a forgotten one with an enrage. That's pretty interesting. Now he doesn't have his five armor or whatever, but he's got to retaliate with the enrage. I don't know. Feels a bit slow. What are my other options? Yeah. Curl, curl, curl Lurker could be interesting, right? The phase, the dodge, the enrage, the speed's going to go to a six. Not, not big enough, not fast enough. Hmm. Thinking about selling my Rooney recently. Getting about 0.45 ETH. Call it 750 bucks for, for Rooney. I love the Rooney, though. That's the problem, right? That's the problem. You know what? Let's skip out on the... Let's do this. Okay, okay. If this was, if there was armor available, I'd, I'd really like this. Phyrexia with hero with the heatsmith, but no armor changes the conversation. Lord A. Okay. Magic Reflect, Tank Heal, uh, Off Tank because of the scavenge, right? And then these guys are going to turn cracks. I don't even know how to say that. Cray, Crayor. Crayar is going to turn into a tank if, if a, a falls. He's got a lot of meat shield over here too. He's got the self heal. He's got the Radric Reflect over here, which is going to kill me. I don't see how we win this. Plus he's got an affliction over here and a poison. Nah, we're done. Buddy's got like every tank under. Look at like the amount of heat hit points Buddy's got, considering the rules, the 15, 16 mana cap. The Blight is going to have 10 hit points. An infliction on the first shot, too. Or no, yeah, first shot. Yeah. What a. Mm. No, we're done. We're done here. Keep on going. Okay, Scattershot Blast. Okay, Scattershot and Fog of War. High mana cap. Immediately think Dragon. Archmage for the extra damage output. Or Quicks for the speed reduction on my opponent. And the archery nerf. Speed is more important, I think. Hmm. Grandmaster Wraith. And then we bring out what's it called? Return fire. I want to bring out as much return fire as I can, as well as magic reflect where possible. So magic reflect, magic reflect, archer armor. What's my, how much damage am I putting out here?
Hmm. That's good, man. The stun, the cripple. I feel like Time Meddler is not to play. I also think Elmo is not to play. Oops. And then I want, I want that secondary, re, I want that reach melee monster. Reflection shield could be interesting though. So one reflection. Do I nuke one of these guys and bring out a, a reflection? Do I nix the Grandmaster Wraith and bring out the... Oh my goodness, this is not... This is my... Okay, we gotta click it. Of course, the Grandmaster Wraith would have been superior because of the, the armor, but... We'll see. I think we lose this. I have a lot of hit points. I only really have one magic reflector. Back here with the Cornelius. And the misses are are particularly annoying, you know. I will slap that crack in though. Watch this. It's gonna be too little, too late, and I guess I, I might even miss. Just oh nine carry damage onto the. Onto the Jin O'Shannis too. That was maybe the big, biggest single hit I've ever seen. 15 damage on the Kraken, 9 on the O'Shannis. 24. I think that's the biggest single damage hit I've seen in this game. As you can see, it's not enough though. If I had picked Wraith, it, it's. I think we still lose. But it's a different... Maybe we stay alive long enough to chip away. I No, I think we still lose. Let's play three more. Flow goes first and rage. Hmm. Oh. Little ones, I see what's what's up, what's up. Hmm. Hmm. Nope. Oh, no magic. Hmm. Boom. 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 These are quite fast is one of my concerns, but... Now, we nix him, put out the second tank. Tower Griffin might need to go because the armor is, while interesting, not, not a real necessary element of like what's going on here. Yeah, and we bring out another heal with a cleanse with an armor. So we replace the armor. I would love it if you had some attack. Hmm. Sitch Leech could be an interesting 
replacement out of here. Bitch leech, because it's going to get bigger. And then let's get rid of the Thunderbird and let's put out... Let's put out the Dragon Bowman after all. Boom. Double sneak. Three tanks on my side. Oh yeah, we win just because his cards aren't good enough. At least I think we win. These misses are pretty annoying. Okay, Bowman. Dragonling Bowman snipes down. Okay, we're, we're good. There we go. Two more. Two more matches. Let's see what we can get. It's... I've been using... I was using Xbox for three, four weeks. And one, it's very good. Two, it takes so much burden off my, you know, expectation to play. Uh, and frees up so much time. I'm not using it. And now it's hard to keep up. It's hard to keep up with the daily games. But... This is the this is the writing on the wall, right? Like it's like Splinterlands aiming at removal of such bots. I w I'm technically going to play wild, <clears throat> so I, w I wouldn't necessarily have to surrender that tech that tool. But I made I made the call to pull the trigger and on a trade. Trample, no archery, fury. So don't use taunt. Trample would be great. Hmm. Tempted. Straight up astral entity with the Curse Windicoo. Get the Resurrect. Uh, feels like it's not the best play. You know, we could go Slime Ball and get the Resurrect on the right. Let me go. We can. So we got one week in. Problem is if Buddy runs a tr if Buddy runs a um, a trample, he's just going to trample through. Instead of Doctor Blight, I could theoretically r run the undead for one more weekend, and you know I don't need to. I could get rid of Shadowy Presence and Dr. Blade, put in one more Redemption and one more Weaken. Then I'm getting three Redemptions. If Buddy puts one tank, one meaningful tank forward, the, Dr. Blade can still win this. So I like this better. Okay, let's give it a shot. He's going Sneak. <clears throat> It's going to depend if we land a poison and, a, and an affliction right off the bat. I think I honestly think we win if we do. Even though it looks real bad. Like he's got a lot of hit points. Boom, boom. The Dr. Blade's going to have a lot of hit points. Affliction, poison, boom. It would have been cool if we, we landed that two bomb from the slime ball, but largely irrelevant. And that's game Hendrix. Dr. Blight, man. That's a card. Dr. Blight's a card that I don't think I could sell for. Well, I'm not even going to say that. Not It's a card that I would sell for the right price, but it is it is just absolutely amazing. Last battle. Okay, poison 
let's think through so in the poison context of course you like to have self-heal cleanses are great life leech or uh, or scavenge so let's make sure we put the doctor blade back out there again i do think it might be wise to bring out like a possibilis for the extra hit points and yeah let's have a peek at what that could look like so let's see scavenge there's several scavengers over here boom 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 oh no legendaries so this is potentially interesting though I'm, i i do kind of like this because they're these are both opportunities meaning they will trigger the trample they have extra hit points plus the scavenge so then let's go let's go heal ton of hit points the sea monster has reach it's behind a zenith monk the zenith monk is going to die so it's probably not the best play actually right it's not going to be it, it doesn't have the strength or resiliency to stay alive so i'm probably better to go like this sea monster is more of a it has more chance of staying alive Although very little. And the Demented Shark is spiking the damage output over here. I don't think that's the play either. I think I think I want to put out like some either Onyx Sentinel or the Peaceful Giant. Oh yeah, we can't do it. There is no the whale or whatever. The six mana cost blue whale. Have to do this too. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> On the one hand, I wanted to put Sea Monster in the second position to hide behind the cube, but the thing is, I really want my cube to stay alive longer than even my Sea Monster. He's part of a win condition for me, you know, out outlasting the poison, right? He's got one armor. He's got a lot more speed. He's gonna dodge, and that's gonna be a, that's gonna be how we lose this. They just melt the melt the sea monster, trample, and miss. So the number of misses are gonna be super frustrating in this one. We're talking like a forty percent miss. Oof, if I had one more hit point. I guess if I wanted one more hit point, then Ronova would have killed me. <clears throat> yeah, he's... No, we, we dead. Hmm. Speed is just so... It's so absolutely... Like, you just melt me while I... Hope for the poison kills you is and of course he had enough life that it was that wasn't a problem okay i'm gonna leave it there thanks guys for your time and attention i hope you have an amazing day god bless